Hello, this is Doki of Bleepin Doki, and welcome to my let's play of Tower of Heaven. Tower of Heaven was made by the independent collective ASCIISoft in 2009 as a flash game and quickly rose to popularity because of its reminiscent style in both its aesthetics and its gameplay, which would remind you, obviously, of the old Game Boy games, and we'll see why, in terms of gameplay at least, soon enough. But for now, the game is quite simple. The version I'm playing, 1.0, has some differences from the more up-to-date versions, so you'll probably find some discrepancies between this video and your own playthrough, or others on YouTube. And as I said, the game starts off quite simply. This would be considered the first definitive level. And we're off to a good start. As we progress, the god of the tower makes more and more laws, which make the gameplay more and more difficult. And as we're told, we can check these laws with the WK, but we'll never use that. We'll see what happens when you touch the yellow block, eventually. And the trick here is getting onto that fan at a certain angle, at a certain height. It can be quite difficult if you've never played it before. This is a good one. That's what happens when you just obey laws. As you can see, it's getting quite difficult. Here we're not even allowed to walk left. But it doesn't say anything about jumping left. And we're on to our first secret treasure. And you'll notice that laws don't apply in secret rooms. music in this game is just really good. I am a big fan of the composer Fleshy Goodness who has uploaded very kindly the entire original soundtrack onto YouTube which is actually quite short considering the length of the game though that's hardly surprising. We're on to our second secret room soon enough.
And that's what happens when you touch a yellow block. Or the side of any block. As I said before, you have to go under those spawns at a certain angle. You can't just jump right on top of them. And even though the god said that all of the laws are nigh null and void, if we still touch living things like butterflies or grass, we still die. But now we're completely free. Except for yellow blocks, oddly enough. The god in this game is full of contradictions. But we can still walk left, so that's a plus at least. There's an awkward timing here, which means that you have to jump into the pit the razor blades at a very specific moment. And it's right after the two razor blades come at you in very quick succession. You'll see if you play the game. Now here is a discrepancy between this version and other versions of the game. Now we're approaching the end of the gate. Quite short I know, but still very enjoyable. And what's more, this video makes it seem far far shorter than it actually is. If you decide to give this game a go, believe me you will be dying a lot. Which will actually take up at least two thirds or three quarters of the game itself, just dying over and over again. And now, the god of the game destroys the tower. Quite a strange ending. that we're approaching the end of the video I would just like to say thanks very much for watching and please feel free to leave feedback and subscribe and enjoy the rest of the video.